Uh, thanks very much, Courtney. I'm joined by Hugh Donovan, a construction service engineer with the City of Edmonton. Welcome to BT. You're, you're the guy that we have to thank because you and your team are, I suppose, investigating new methods of eliminating, well, what we see for the most part right here, the breakup of asphalt. That's correct, yes. Uh, in our lab, I manage our materials testing lab. I'm also responsible for pavement designs and designing the structures that go on the road. Uh, but in, in our lab, what we've, uh, we have is a research component where we're looking at uh, new materials, new processes, new ways of, of rehabilitating, fixing our roads, uh, ultimately with the goal of preventing uh, potholes on the road. You've got to know, this is, this is the biggest bee in Edmonton's bonnet right now, the pothole situation, I think. We've heard that, that, that city crews are going to repair up to 600,000 of them. It's, it's a mind-blowing number, really. Absolutely, and, and it's, it's, it's a common process. Every year we have potholes, every year they have to fill potholes. Uh, it's, related to the weather, it's related to the age of the infrastructure, it's related to a, a number of factors. Uh, this last winter we actually had three springs, one in February, one in March, and one in April. As a result, we've, we've had way more free saw cycles, uh, way more wetting and drying. These things are all bad for the asphalt so materials. So the, the freeze thaw is the real killer though, isn't it? The freeze thaw, plus the wetting and drying, what happens is when traffic drives over a road, they actually force the water down, pull the water out with their tires. and that creates a bit of a scrubbing action, which tends to, on some of our older mixes, tends to remove the asphalt from the gravel component Okay, so you, you've got constant research going on. I love what you brought in here. These are uh, cross sections that many of us will never get to see. So Hugh, maybe you can take us through this. This, as I understand it, this is brand new. This is exactly how asphalt looks when it goes down on one of those slick new streets. Correct, this, this would be a sample of, of a new mix. It's a uh, 10 millimeter surface course mix. Uh, these are samples that we created in our lab. We broke them apart so you can look and see the inside of the mix. This is what a, a good asphalt mix should look like. Okay, now what do we have here? These are, these are samples that were taken off an existing road structure. It's aged. This mix would be probably something in the order of about 17 to 20 years old. And what we see here is we see the aggregate component where, you've, where the oil has washed off or stripped off of the aggregates. So you're saying you never want to see it looking like this. Ideally, it should in theory look like this for all of eternity. For, for all of eternity. Now we know that through time, eventually asphalt will deteriorate. It's not gonna last forever. But generally, when we look at our maintenance programs and our rehabilitation programs, we should be getting in in a timely manner to be able to rehab, reinstate, resurface the roads when okay. they need it. So I love the idea. I mean, you're, you guys aren't going to Canadian Tire and picking up bags of asphalt that they sell in, in Miami, Florida, and Portland, Oregon, and Edmonton. It's not all the same. You said there's a lab here. There's research going on specific to the capital region. And that's where these come in, isn't it? That's right. These are, these are uh, just some samples of our new mixes. This particular mix is what we call stone mastic asphalt. Asphalt is a very coarse grained mix and it's designed for rut resistance. So intersections that have rutting, yellowhead trail, high volume traffic roadways where you put this mix down and because of the nature of the mix, it's it's the load is transferred from aggregate to aggregate to the road. Now this has got to be more expensive then. This particular mix is about twice what our normal mix would run. Ooh, okay. So it is, it is a more expensive mix, but the performance we've been seeing on the sections that we have down warrant the use of this 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 type of a mix. Okay, Hugh, what about these? Are these all different based on where they're gonna be laid down? Yes, they are. Uh, this this is, again, similar to the SMA. It's it's a section that we just did a trial on last year. These are two surface course mixes. This is a residential surface course mix, and this is for an arterial slash collector road. The difference is, you'll see the smaller aggregate size. So we've went to a smaller size. We're adding anti-stripping admixtures so we don't get the stripping of the aggregates. And, and, and we've just re, redesigned the mixes themselves. Okay. Uh, now in our lab we have a bunch of equipment that we can push, pull, tug, uh, and test these mixes to, to determine the performance characteristics, but time will tell once we get them on the road. Okay, now we've gotta go, we don't wanna be late into our newscast, I have two real quick questions. Uh, first of all, if City Hall were to give you and your department more money, could you in theory eliminate potholes from Edmonton? And second of all, when will we see all of this new technology actually paved onto our streets? Well, these, this, this mix is our already been down. We've been putting it down since 2002. These mixes have been down for three years as trials. We're actually going into full-scale production of these mixes this year. On so a you're happy of projects. with what you see so we're far? We're happy with what we see. As far as can we ever build roads without potholes, uh, I think we can reduce the number of potholes. I'm not sure we'll ever eliminate them. Uh, as I say, I mean, we, we could design the best mixes in the world, but the mixes are still placed by people with equipment. 
uh, and they make mistakes. So some of our potholes are related to construction mistakes, some of them are material related. Uh, it's just a combination thing. So I'm not sure we can ever eliminate it 100%, but we can certainly work to eliminate a lot of them. Well, on behalf of all of us who have seen our stabilizer bars and our front suspension and, 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 and our uh, frame rails destroyed by potholes, keep fighting the good fight, Hugh, and thanks for joining us today. Okay. Thank you there very much. There you have it. More from Edmonton's Best Morning Show, getting into the stories that matter to you right after this break. News, traffic, and weather with Courtney and the team still to come.